still got a couple splashes on the lens there. It is super bright out here right now. And hopefully, the sun's behind me, hopefully you're not you know, washed out. But uh, I'm out today doing some testing. And we all know how hard it is to find a good spot to test our drones. Um, so right now I'm out, walking look for a good spot to set up. And then we're gonna get into something I recently purchased and do a couple tests, see how it works out. So give me a second, let me find a spot, and then we'll get into it. I gotta find a spot for the camera. All right, how about that? So, today we're out on this beautiful Labor Day weekend. Labor Day. So today we're out on this uh, beautiful Labor Day weekend to uh, talk about something I found on uh, eBay a couple weeks ago. And it is a set of helical antennas for your DJI drones. You can get them for the DJI Mavic, the DJI Spark, uh, DJI Phantom series. Um, they weren't that expensive. They were $58. I will definitely leave a link in the description below. And as always, if you're thinking about modifying your stock DJI equipment and you just got to remember that doing a modification to something like this would void your warranty, at least the warranty on the remote control. I've had this for over um, a year or so now, so I have no warranty. I have no... Um, uh, refresh. I have nothing like that. So if anything breaks on this thing, it's on me. So I just thought I'd give it a shot. Helical antennas have been known because of this uh, coil-shaped polarization to take a signal and spiral it out. And also because it's half uh, sphere shaped, you have a wider range or a wider uh, field of um, signal emission than your front-facing directional antennas or your omnidirectional antennas. So I was interested in trying one of these because I've never tried one before. Um, I've had other drones and when I wanted to get one, um, a lot of these antennas for the Mavic series are, not even the Mavic series, a lot of antennas for the drones, all of them, are very, very expensive. The cheapest one I found online, uh, which was a flat directional antenna setup, costs, uh, were cost about $110. For $58, that was a hell of a deal. Um, the packaging came very nice came with all the tools that you need to uh, modify the remote control itself it actually had a link on YouTube where you can go and get the instructions for modifying your remote control um, so if you didn't know how to take this apart you can go on and watch it and if you can follow instructions step by step you shouldn't have any problems it took me a while just to get the bottom off but once I got the bottom off taking it apart and putting it back together it took me a matter of I would say 10 minutes so what I'm out here to do right now is I want to check to make sure my setup is correct. Hopefully this is correct so I do not lose my drone somewhere in this uh, deep, deep river that I'm sitting in front of. So let's get the drone out. Let's get up in the air get it tested. That'll be the first test. And then what I want to test next is the penetration. I just want to check my setup, make sure everything's working good, and let you know what I think about it. So let me get it set up and give it a run. Live it up, live it up, live it up.
this is a test one was successful. Amazing. So beyond expectations. Beyond expectations is great. Because usually when you get stuff off of eBay, sorry I'm climbing rocks now, and I don't want to break my neck. All right. Usually when you get stuff off of eBay, um, you want to kind of set your expectations somewhere in the middle and hope for the best. But every once in a while you get a disappointment. So let's go try to find um, condition test number two. And condition number test number two is penetration. So there's two ways you can test penetration. One, you can go somewhere. I guess I got to put the camera on the side. One, you can go somewhere where it's highly dense foliage, like trees. Stand behind them and see what you get. But again, be careful because if you don't have line of sight of your drone, it's against FAA regulations. I'm gonna go back to my other test field and there is a small shed. Well, it's not a small shed. It's a small um, pavilion. I wanna stand on one side of the pavilion and lower it down behind the other side of the pavilion and see if I still have a signal. So off to the next field, be back with you in a minute. All right, I'm back. Let's see if that camera can be Tilt that a little bit like that. So yeah, if, you, if it looks like it's getting dark, it's because I, I got tied up with other things and um, I didn't get a chance to get out here and finish the, um, the testing on the uh, helical antennas that I wanted to um, get done. But um, I've kind of done some real world testing um, after the camera was off. Uh, when it comes to penetration, that was the next thing I was going to do. Um, penetration is where your, um, your signal is, is, is getting past uh, the trees and the houses and the things, the um, obstructions in front of you. And um, from what I understand, helical antennas are the best at giving you um, better penetration. I was gonna come out and try to simulate the the demonstration that the uh, the manufacturer had on their YouTube channel. So I was gonna try to, I'll show you that. I was gonna try to fly over top of that building and then bring it down behind the building and then fly it from around the building, which I thought might be a simulation of the test that the manufacturer had on their website, but um, I decided not to do it. So I'm gonna give you my thoughts on the antennas and, um, Give you a link to them if you want to go and check them out and uh, give you my opinion on how hard it was to install um, the installation was relatively easy like i said if you can follow instructions the hardest part was popping out this little base plate base plate here that thing is a monster to get out you got it comes with uh tools it comes with all the tools that you need to take this apart it comes with a little guitar pick looking pry thing it comes with a little plastic pry bar it comes with a an allen key and a phillips head screwdriver decent quality looking tools by the way um and you got to take this apart and pop this out and everything else kind of just comes out with about six to ten screws nah, maybe more like 12 screws um that was the hardest part about the installation getting it back together was easy um like if, I, if i could get that base plate out in two minutes versus the 20 that i took i think this whole installation would probably taken me 20 25 minutes to get done and that's not it without even rushing um the quality of the antennas are very very good um they are actually adjustable, so they make this for the Mavic Pro, they make this for the DJ, DJI Spark, they make this for your Phantom series drones, and the distance between the two antenna prongs is maybe different, I mean, you know, a little bit further apart, so as you can see right here, there's a little joint that allows these to spread apart um, to get it to go on. Um, you can uninstall these very easily by just twisting these little um, coaxial uh, threaded screws I guess you call them I don't know what you call them just twist on them this comes off so if you don't have a, a special bag like I got right like this you can just take the antennas off and put the little rubber caps on and then put it in your normal uh, storage bag and put the antennas in maybe in a different pocket um, so would you need them um, I guess that depends on where you're flying if you're flying in an area where you have um, a lot of foliage a lot of trees you know you're getting into the the uh, questionable era, uh, uh, era, area of uh, FAA regulation. So if you were flying around over top of some trees, you shouldn't be flying to the point where you would need penetration because you should be able to see your your drone. Distance, um, as I hinted to in the previous video, you probably shouldn't be flying at the distances that these are capable of. Um, I don't wanna get into <laughs> anything else about that. So do you need them? Nah. Probably not. Um, are they cool to have if you're in a situation where you do want to get some, like just say you're in a different country that doesn't have the same drone regulations that we have, um, and you want to go and do a, 
seven kilometer run. Um, this will work for you. Um, real world tests show that uh, it can get pretty far and still have um, full bars, full uh, control signal bars on your on your screen there. So I like them. Um, but for you guys to have a stock uh, Mavic Pro controller, taking it apart, especially if you're under warranty, may not be the best thing for you to do because then you're going to avoid the warranty. And to be honest with you, the stock antennas um, on the Mavic Pro. Now, I haven't done the Mavic Pro with like a penetration test. Uh, when I took it to Bali, um, it was clear open rice patties. I just could fly it. The test that I did with this, I also did the same thing. I tested uh, real world without any obstruction. I went to a place that there was no obstruction for as far as the eye can see, with the exception of some very, very tall power lines and um, communication was good. Um, in real world tests, um, about a, one, a kilometer and a half, uh, sitting in a lower uh, valley type area um, with trees, cell phone antennas, um, and your normal residential Wi-Fi interference, kilometer and a half, which is way more than you need to get your decent footage for your drone. Thoughts on it for $58 if you're looking for a set of helical antennas, because like I said, when I was looking for helical antennas with my Phantom drones, like one antenna by itself was like 58 bucks, and then it was hard to find the antennas for the drone, the helical antennas for the drone. The best you could find were directional antennas, the flat panel, squarish looking panels. Some of them had uh, power boosters or amplification boosters on them. Um, and they were in the hundreds and hundreds of dollars, uh, starting at about 150 and up. This has some very, very cool, let me see if I can get this off real quick. I mean, you guys can see it when you go and go online and look it up, but this comes with very cool finishing, um, I guess, finishing caps there for the, if I can get that to focus. Very cool finishing caps for the top. Like I said, all you do is take it, line it up, and try to get it even before you start screwing down. Now I got them both right on. Line them up and tighten them down. I'm gonna end this, guys. I'm gonna pack it up. I gotta go home and pull apart a 450 helicopter that's been giving me, uh, again, more problems. Um, thanks for watching. Um, thanks for supporting the vlog. If you got any questions about this, um, please. Please leave a comment below. I'll try to answer them without incriminating myself, and I'll get back to you soon. Talk to you later. Bye.